So what is this emotional learning that's emblazoned in my brain? It's if I am my authentic self and show my true feelings, love will be taken from me. If love is taken from me by a caregiver, I might get kicked out of the tribe. What happens when you get kicked out of the tribe? You die. So what they figured out in the last 20 years, Freud thought that that emotional learning was stuck in your brain forever. Now right. they know that when you stir it up, it becomes labile. And then when you show it a juxtaposition, a complete opposite, you literally can replace the neuro neural pathway. They just found that out in 2004, right? Wow. Okay. So you, you might be like, well, they're, I'm sure they're teaching that in medical school now in psychology and all this. No, no, they're not teaching it because what's Western medicine like to do? They like to diagnose, label you, and then give you a drug. Right. So if you're struggling with anything, it's not your fault. It's your brain just trying to do what it's supposed to do. And that's survive. That's it. And all you have to do is show it a different path. And then your negative behavior goes away. And that might be cold calling. You might be afraid to call because if I am my authentic self, someone might judge me. And then if they judge me, that means I'm not enough. And I might get kicked out of the tribe. And here we are. Now, don't get that confused with you wake up every day and say, if I make a cold call, I'm going to die. That's your conscious brain. No, your subconscious brain that actually controls whether you pick up the phone is doing that. And you don't even know it. That was me for 47 years of my life. That's why a lot of entrepreneurs get into the business. If I can make $5 million or $10 million, then I'm going to be happy. And then I'm going to be worthy. That never, that never happens because why do Matt, why does Matthew Perry die and Whitney Houston and Michael Jackson, when they have all the money in the world, it doesn't matter how much money you have. If you don't feel like enough, no amount of money is going to make you happier. But here's the thing. When you do the work that we just talked about, the negative behavior being driven by the untruth that you don't even know about, when you do that work, you can get to the place that you think $10 million is going to get you to in five years, 10 years. You can get to that literally in five weeks in our program. Then when you're there, Avi, the chances of you making that five or $10 million go through the roof because you're not trying to do it to prove something. Three years ago, when I shifted trying to make money to prove my worth, to trying to make an impact, my net worth has grown more in these three years than any other three-year period, probably by multiple. Because you're actually becoming who you really are, not who you're saying that society wants you to be or you think you should be, right? Ring the bell. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I'm, yeah, I'm doing what I know God put me here to do. And that's help people end their suffering through subconscious limiting beliefs that they don't even know about. Very if cool. you're saying, huh, I wonder if I have some of these limiting beliefs, do yourself a favor, do your family a favor, do your business a favor, do your health a favor and go to our website, unlock forward slash quiz and take this three minute, 12 question self love quiz. And it's going to tell you based on the score, if you have some of these limiting beliefs, what's the most common thing you see? See as a problem with the real estate investors that you run into? Racing mind, trouble sleeping, never shut it off, always working, disconnected, not present. It's all from the same source. It's all, I've worked with people who could retire today, but they're working like 80 hours a week because they don't feel enough. They just need more, 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 more.